Hi everybody. I was mailed this spider. This is an avicularia avicularia, more commonly known as the Guyana pink toe. See the little pink toes, little pink toes. And she didn't tell me why he passed away, so I just assumed that, you know, it was a larger spider. This spider's very small. Um, I mean, here's my hand. <laughs> you know, and there you go. I mean, this little guy's small, and he has matured. Um, that is why he passed away. He is a mature male. Um... Let's see if I can get the, there it is. See the hook? It's right here. I'm going to lift up on the leg right there. Um, that means that they have matured when they hook out and his emboli are full. See how big they are? They look like little punching bags. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm getting this specimen set up and I am going to cut him on the carapace and the abdomen and clean all that out. And I'm going to pull with, ne with needle aspiration any liquid that's in the legs. And then I'm going to put him in uh, desiccating beads or silica beads and dry him out. And then I'm going to mount him in a month. So, I will be back to show you my process. Good evening again, everybody. As you saw from the first part of the video, what I am doing is I am taxiderming at this point, this little young, mature male, Avicularia Avicularia, that a lady sent me. She um, thought she had done something wrong and uh, her spider had died. And when I got him here, I had to go ahead and get him started because even though she sent him frozen, he was in transit for so long that all of his frozen bags and everything had melted and the inside of the box was all warm. And I was like, oh no, I got to get started immediately. And I opened up his container and got him out and had a look and said, oh well, that even though he's very small, and very juvenile size. See, there's my hand. There he is. Um, he matured out to be a male. And they don't live very long. Unfortunately, after they mature. And that's all that happened. She did nothing wrong uh, to harm her tarantula or anything like that. So, uh, I let her know. And she was quite relieved to find out that she did nothing wrong. And I'm glad I could give her that relief. What I am doing right now is I'm taking this little diabetic syringe. And I'm filling it up with rubbing alcohol. And I am throwing some in the legs. What that will do is if there's any fluid left in the legs... him a lip or anything like that, it will um, dry it up. Now, after I get done with him, he is going in a uh, box of the silica gel beads where he will be um, left in there for about two weeks or so. And then he will be um, removed. And then I will go from there on um, mounting him in resin 
and uh, getting him decorated and sent back home to his family. He's a pretty little specimen. It's he he did mature very small though. I was I'm still amazed at how small he is. But yeah, all I'm doing is just loading him up with a little 91% rubbing alcohol right now. Best thing I ever did for this for this kind of stuff was buy these uh, these diabetic needles and syringes. They really come in handy for this. I just hope I don't stab myself. Something moving around in here. All right, let's get this leg. I haven't gotten it yet. And spiders don't have blood, so that's not an issue. But they do have fluid, which is what makes their joints function and gives them their hydraulics, so to speak. So, and I have heard on some of the groups about people trying to taxidermy their spiders or whatever and the leg rotting. And I don't want that. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't do this for cheap. So I want to send a quality product back to the owner and rotting legs is not something that I'm gonna like very much. Um, when it comes down to it, I'm gonna want, you know, to, oops, to give a good quality product that's gonna last. And I'm just supporting the leg with my bamboo stick. I'm just poking it right on in there. And... Getting it in there. Something else I can do too is I can actually let it sit in there for a little while and then I can come back and aspirate the fluid out that I have. Um, oops. <laughs> that light seemed to have some fluid in it. I showed you all in the quick video I did when I got him and pinned him um, uh, where he had hooked uh, the mature males hook out. They get the these little hooks on the backs of their front legs and what those hooks are for is for holding the female in position for breeding. So um, he definitely matured and uh, that had to be heartbreaking it was it was her first tarantula she had no idea that he had matured and um, but yeah his front legs here there's petty palps they're full of um, sperm um, I'm definitely seeing some kind of fluid coming out, but that's okay. Because we're just now getting into the growth stuff. Got that part done. Now what I have to do. This is why I'm doing it in my art studio, because it's got the best light. 
is I have to cut his abdomen open and swab out all the gross insides, which doesn't sound much fun, does it? And of course I decided to bring y'all along for the journey, why not, right? So I'm opening up my scalpel. I got some scalpels to do this with because I figured it'd be better. And so I can get this set up and then I'm gonna roll him over. Unpin him. Because I'm going to put him in the position that I want uh, when I when I get ready to put him in the. The silica beads, and this isn't the position I want him in. Similar, but not what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to roll him over. And wow, look at those emboli. Let me stretch these out. as far as I can. Oh, come on. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. I don't know if it's because he's been frozen, but his fangs are like, not there. There they are. They're white. They're they're clear. And I think I don't know if he maybe he molted and died, or molted no, because he had a chance to fill up his petty palps. Right there, you can see where they are full of the fluid. Okay, so let me get him in position. Because I'm going to have to uh, clean out that abdomen, and that's like the last thing I want to do. Because it's like the grossest. So, get him pinned. He's a fluffy thing. Okay. All right. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Stats. Some cotton. Ugh, that's a big old piece of. I need a little bit bigger working space, though. 
He's kind of got a small abdomen to work with, so. thing I'm going to do to help me get that out is I want to flush it with alcohol. Mm. Q-tip would probably work better with this little guy. He's kind of small. Q-tips handy. Not here anyway. Yeah. I still got plenty of gross stuff to clean out of here. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot worse. <laughs> and again, maybe it is. <laughs> Yuck. So, 
I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And I'm gonna run and get Q-tips. I will be right back. This word. This ought to be fun. <laughs> Trying to get that stuffing in there. I was trying to do it with um aquarium cotton um on a couple of my other projects, but it doesn't work that way. So might be easier to do it with alcohol cotton. I said you're not gonna be able to see the side of him anyway not really so I'm going to let that dry a little bit so that I can glue it because I don't want to glue it wet so there and let that dry let's sop it up a little bit at least get the flesh dry I don't know. 
say, I don't know why it closed. I'm not. But, like I said, that's okay. Because you're not going to see this side of the project anyway. I just merely wanted some cotton filler in there to um, keep him um, looking normal. So. Good. I have a tendency to lay my arm in anything I'm working on, so it wouldn't surprise me if I <laughs> lay my arm in something. Okay. They look pitiful when they're laid over this, so I don't think. I have to take a picture of that before I uh, do anything with him because I would almost swear I don't know if we can get that to focus on it or not I want to send that to Alex and ask him if he's ever seen one with no black where the black disappeared from the fangs those fangs should be black so I wonder if this little guy died under a, like he molted, but then he, um, I don't know, then had his penultimate molt and didn't make it, make it, or tried to molt afterwards, I should say, because they can't, once they mature, if they molt again, they die, so I'm kind of wondering if this is what happened to this little fellow. If he matured and then tried to mold again, and here we are. He's being taxidermied. All right, now I'm sealing what I did. Both here. And here. Okay. Give that a moment to dry, and then I'm going to put him on his other um, thing. Oh, and it fits right in there. That's good. Okay, cool. And then he'll go in this Tupperware and I'll cover him with the beads and he will be set aside to dry for a month. Look at the hairs that rubbed off. Okay, we're just gonna throw that away. I have plenty of card oh, styrofoam. I don't have to save any. Yeah, I'm sorry, little fella. I know it's not very dignified, everything I'm doing to you, but you know what? It will be okay. All right. How do we want you? We want your... Hey, it's a little... Okay, let's see. Come this way with your foot. This way with that foot. This way with that foot. And I want you this way with that foot. That way with that foot. And that way with that foot. Come on, leg. 
joint. Let's move. I know I violated you by sticking rubbing alcohol in you, but you'll be all right. All right, let's set out his emboli. Just trying to decide what position I want to dry him in. And I will do it. I like that. Get these things out. Okay. little pink toes. Well, they are called Guyana pink toes. Got a bit of a lumpy abdomen there. <laughs> I can't match that down a little bit. Laid, but not much I can do about it because he's got the the boxing gloves on the end of his feet. Some separation in the fangs. There we go. A little more fang separation. Let's see how that is. This leg's blocking it. So, let's go back. There we go. Okay. Amazingly enough, I haven't poked through the uh, stuff. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. 
comes down. He goes right in there. There he is, all pinned. Okay. And these are blue silica gel beads. And they're actually reusable. So like, if you like one of dry flowers or, I don't think I remember those anymore. If you want to dry flowers or something like that, and uh, you can actually reuse them um, once you're done drying whatever you're drying, apparently being a tarantula or a flower or whatever you like, then, um, you can um, put them in the oven and bake them for a certain amount of time and they will um, dry out and make them reusable. And he is covered up. So there we go. That is the end of this odd video that I made. And we're just going to seal him up. Like that. He is now in a chicken breast container. And I'm just going to grab a piece of mask and tape. I'm going to tangle it up where I can't use it. I'm actually going to write the date that I did him. And then that way I'll know when his time is up. And he can come out of there. There we go. Is today the 21st or the 22nd though? Ah, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So he is now done and ready to go on the shelf. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a strange one. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a great evening.